Hi guys, welcome back. Thank you so much for tuning in and welcome to all my new subscribers. Today I have another recipe that I tried from Pinterest and it is a success so I'm going to share it here with you. It is originally from the blog holisticallyengineered.com so we want to give them credit for that for an awesome re recipe. I did do a few modifications but I'll share that in the video and so if you're interested in this video I want you to hang on in there with me and keep on watching. The ingredient that I'm featuring today is spaghetti squash so I hope you like it. The ingredients are one spaghetti squash, one pound of Italian sausage, four eggs, mozzarella cheese, marinara sauce, preferably one without sugar, pepperoni, and spices. And the tools we'll be using a 9 by 13 Pyrex dish and a mixing bowl. Okay, first we're going to start with our spaghetti squash that we made in our crock pot. If you did miss that, check out my previous video. I've already taken the seeds out, cut it in half, and now I'm just going to use a fork to release all those spaghetti squash noodles. I'm going to add these to my bowl, and then once I get all the noodles out, I will add other ingredients and show you that as well. Over here on the stove, we have taken the casings. Come over here, sir. Taking the casings off of our Italian sausage, and now we're just browning it in the pan. Okay, sorry I got cut off, but I'm back. Um, a lot has happened since the camera went off. I've drained my spaghetti squash because it can be very liquidy. I've drained my Italian sausage. To this bowl here, I've added my marinara and a teaspoon each of garlic powder, oregano, and sea salt, as well as my eggs. I'm going to begin blending this now, and then I will begin to put this together for you on camera. Now, the recipe as it is, we doubled. However, it did call for six cups of marinara. I've made this before, and I find that to be a little bit too much liquid for this recipe. So in total, I've used nine ounces of marinara, so no, excuse me. I used four and a half cups, okay? So I'll be right back and show you after I get done blending. Okay, so here I have in my baking dish my spaghetti squash. I added my Italian sausage, and now I'm gonna add my marinara mixture um, of eggs and spices that I just did on camera for you guys. I wish I had a spatula with me. But I'll just kind of spray this with this because I'm going to use this to mix this all together. Okay. So the recipe says to mix this together until it's kind of even. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take this and kind of mix it this way. Now, I do want to note something here. The recipe calls for a half a pound of ground Italian sausage. Although I did double the recipe by making a pound, my husband likes his dish very meaty, and so we did add an extra pound. It was very liquidy the first time and not quite enough meat. So this time we've added two pounds of Italian sausage. I will put all the modifications in the description box and you can just click on show more to see all the details there, as well as including the link to the recipe. Just going to mix this and I'll begin to add my layers and I'll be right back. Okay, welcome back. Right now what I'm doing is placing a layer of pepperoni. It calls for two and a half ounces, so we're doubling that because we're making a double portion. We're going to make five ounces of pepperoni. With this, we're going to add two cups of cheese to the entire casserole. The recipe 
has it split between, between mozzarella and parmesan. Since I don't have parmesan on hand today, I'm going to be using all mozzarella. So with my layer of pepperoni, on top of this will be a layer of mozzarella cheese and then another layer of pepperoni and then finally my final layer of cheese okay so once i get this ready for the oven i'll come back and show you guys hi uh, i don't know if you guys remember me but i'm her daughter and uh, to correct my mom um, the recipe only calls for one layer of cheese, so um, I'm going to put, like, there are two layers of pepperoni, so I'm going to put the second layer on. And we have preheated the oven to 350. I'm going to finish now. So it's just finished. Baking for 30 minutes. Taking it out of the oven here. Real bubbly, nice and sizzly. Wonderful looking casserole. We're going to have this for dinner tonight and uh, my family already loves it so we give it two thumbs up. Remember, if this video was helpful to you to rate, comment, and subscribe, please do give it a th thumbs up because in the YouTube world, it's important. And I just want to thank you so much for watching and find us over there on Facebook. Remember to check everything that I put in the description box. It's always a lot of helpful information there. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video and I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.